Every pal's journey is different. Something as simple as brushing your teeth or um, showering or even navigating around the house. Things change and you have to learn a new way. I was living in Asia. I got an email from Brian one day and said, if you've got a few minutes, I'd like to give you a call. And I remember thinking, well, that's weird. I haven't, you, know, you don't hear from a lot of people that want to talk and want to call you when you're 10,000 miles away. And Brian called and he said, um, hey, I just want to let you know, I've uh, been diagnosed with ALS, uh, it's terminal. And he, I remember how calm he was about it. He was also smart enough to know that he needed help, right? And that's when I became aware of the Arkansas chapter of ALS is actually through Brian, which happened to also be just friends in the community with Jennifer and Shannon. And what Jennifer and Shannon had done with the ALS chapter here, you know, they call them their pals, right? Is absolutely remarkable. They know what's going to happen. They know the next need. They know what furniture they need at home. They know what how you need to adapt your home to be able to physically even live in the house. I remember nights um, I would talk to Jennifer Necessary and she was running over to get Brian's daughters and take them to go trick or treating or buy them a Halloween costume. You know, just, there's just the little things that you don't think about. So beyond the financial support and the emotional support, it's the family support that they get. And, and I think the reason that, you know, one of the other reasons I'm so interested in this chapter is, is the money and the, and the work all stays in Arkansas. In Northwest Arkansas, this is one of the things that makes it great. Like I said, that continued support it makes a lot of difference to a lot of people. I know it's touched my life. It's amazing how many people it touches now and in the future. And until we find a cure, you know what, that support needs to continue.